What's up, squad? It's Coach Stacey J. And as promised, you got a push workout coming at you. We got push exercises for upper, lower body, and I'm gonna mix in some cardio with that. So make sure you have a towel, some water, you need space. We're using dumbbells. We're gonna mix it up. We're gonna have fun. Are you ready? Let's warm up just a little bit. Give me an arm circle forward, and then give me a squat with that. So we got three circuits today. We got two push moves, and then we're gonna roll right into a cardio move. 40 seconds of work. 20 seconds of rest. Those cardio moves are about 30 seconds. So get yourself ready for that. As I said, we're gonna mix it up. So maybe we're doing a goblet squat, but then the next time we do that squat, it might look a little different from the last time. So be ready for the change. We're just gonna keep it interesting, okay? Interesting and fun. All right, give me a couple of more here. Last one. Right there, awesome. Bring those feet together. Give me a lateral lunge, reach up, and then take it to the other side. And you know what, let's add a calf raise. Come up on your toes in the middle. Reach up, bam. up give me that calf raise fantastic bring your knees up right up to the waistline good work keep it right here five more seconds Awesomeness. All right, reach down for your toes. Give me a torso twist. Toes, torso twist the other way. Good work, keep it up. Give me about five more seconds on this. Two and one. Hands are together. Give me some chest openers. It's a push, so guess what? There is a chest press that's a pushing exercise. So it is on the menu. So like I said, be prepared to be on the floor. But you know what? If you have like a stability ball, you could certainly use that as a back support and do a chest press from a ball. If you've got a bench, grab that bench. If I had a bench, I'd be on the bench. <laughs> so if you have it, rock with it today because you'll be doing some chest presses. All right, three, two, and one. Give me some butt kicks here, but pull back. That heart rate up a little bit. Move a little faster. Good, pick up the tempo. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantastic, give me a jog in place. Get that blood flowing. Good 
Good, 10 seconds here. Three, two, one. Stop here. Give me some knee openers, some hip openers, really, because you're opening up your hips. All right, we kick it off with the queen of all push exercises. It's a push up. So we start on the floor, guys. I put it right at the top while your shoulders are nice and strong, your chest are strong, and your mind is right. Your mind is right, right from the top, right? Okay. Three, two, and one. All right, hit the floor. We're also gonna switch up the push-up exercises. So for this one, you're gonna give me a push-up and a child's pose. I want you to come back, stretch out those shoulders, and then hit the push-up, bringing that chest to the floor. That's your modified version, okay? All right, here we go. Chest underneath, I mean, hands underneath those shoulders. <laughs> Let's start with the child's pose. Go down into the push-up. Sink into the floor. Make that chest hit the floor if possible. And get as close as you can go. Full push up, bring the knees down. Child's pose. Work. Only 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. You're on your feet. We have squats next, and we're gonna switch these up. This one version right here on this first round, body weight. You're gonna give me a squat with a kick. Squat it out, push the hips back. Give me a straight leg kick in three, two, and one. Here we go. Straight leg kick. It's a great way for us to warm up with the squats. We're gonna be adding weight second and third rounds. Good, five seconds. Three, two, and one. You got jacks for cardio. Easy breezy, I kept it real simple for y'all. Three, two, and one. We're modified or we're not. You choose. But give me all you got, whatever you choose. Give me all you got. Three, two, and one. Good work. That is circuit one, round one. We kick it off back to the floor. That's where we're going. You get to rest a little bit. But then we are back here. This time, we're gonna do shoulder taps. All right, so instead of that child's pose coming back, you got a shoulder tap. Hands are underneath the shoulders. We're going in three, two, one. So give me the push up, shoulder tap. Push up, 
blow it out. Only five seconds, four, three, two, and one. You are standing up. You have a goblet squat next. I want you to grab a weight. And um, you know what? Go a little heavier on the goblet because it's a single weight. Hold that weight right up to your chest. The um, shoulder width apart. Don't go too wide. I want you to focus on your quads for this. So feet shoulder width apart. Here we go. Hips down. Stand up, squeeze the glutes. Drive up through the heels. Wiggle the toes. Good, you got five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, put that weight down. Back to those jacks. How y'all feeling? All right, 10 seconds here. You're in position, formation, three, two, one, let's go. We're gonna go to 40 this time. Just letting you know. That's why I said 30 ish. <laughs> oh, Coach Stacy, you're always throwing that at us, aren't you? I know, but guess what? 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, you deserve it. Our last round is coming up, round number three. We're gonna push up and uh, punch. Push up and punch. That's what that's gonna look like, that last round. If you wanna just give me regular push-ups, I will take it too. But here we go, modified version. Push up, punch out. Alternate on the punch. Push-ups have gotten stronger since you've been with me. Let me know. I want to know. Three, two, and one. You are back up on your feet for a dumbbell squat. So now I want two dumbbells. I'm going to hold those right up to your shoulders. Right here. Three, two, and one. Keep that chest up, blow it out as you come up. Let's finish strong. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's hit those jacks one more time. Shake it off, shake it off. Everybody in formation. Arms down, legs together. Three, two, one, let's hit it. Let's go squat. You're 10 in. Let's go. Final jacks of the day. 
Unless you want to do them later, that's on you. You're halfway. Five, four, three, two, done. Rest. Woo, you rest. Let's grab a little water. Circuit two, on deck. And we start with the shoulder presses. That first round, we're gonna alternate on the arms. All right, so you go ahead and choose your weights. We're standing for this. So feet hip width apart, knees are loose. Arms here parallel to the floor. Three, two, and one. Alternating on the Shoulder press, I say chest press, shoulder press. Shoulders should be wonderfully warmed up from those push-ups. You got five to go here, four, three, two, and one. All right, weights are down. Um, we're doing alternating reverse lunges. So you can grab one weight if you want. I'm gonna go goblet here. You can choose though, you can choose. So alternating reverse lunge in three, two, one. to go three two and one bring it in put that weight down your cardio is a bell bib devoe so we're going to reach down pop those legs in and out in 10 seconds do y'all remember y'all remember all right i'm gonna start with that modified version three two and one so step a foot out and just reach down make sure you're giving me a squat in here all right, taking it up. Three, two, one. Remember that first round, 30 seconds. You're welcome. We're gonna take it up on the next round. Second round coming up. With that shoulder press now, we are gonna do full. So just take both arms up. Go a little heavier. Choose those weights. You got three seconds. We're off. Press it up. seconds. Four, three, two. I'm going to do one more for good measure. One more. All right. 
This next reverse lunge is with a kick. So no weights needed on this. We're still alternating though. I'm gonna start with my right leg. Three, two, and one. So taking that right leg back, and then I'm gonna kick, bam. Go back on that left leg, kick. Now, testing out your balance, right? If you can, go right from that lunge into that kick. Three seconds, you are done. You got your belt with the bow it's coming up. Stretch those arms out. Give yourself a little bit of stretching before that third round. Three, two, and let's hit it. Let's go squad, let's go. Here we go. Doing great, hang in here. I know I'm making it a little longer, but you got it. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good work. Rest. Third round. Woo. On that shoulder press. We're gonna do a combo. So I want single, single, and then double. All right, roll those shoulders. I'm missing my mark, so I'm picking up <laughs> my weights. All right, we're going in five. Here we go. So single, single, take them both up. Final 10, guys. Three, two, and one. All right, those weights are up. This time we're gonna add weight to those alternating reverse lunges. Holding the weights down, making sure I got the same weight and I didn't. I was like, something's not right. <laughs> All right, so weights are being are held down to your side. Here we go. Reverse lunge. Keep that chest up, guys. Shoulders back. Next, Bell Biv, DeVoe, can't forget DeVoe, I can't. <laughs> BBDs in three, two, let's rock. Come on, touch down. Jump those feet out or step them to the side one by one, but keep that tempo up. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Good work. Second circuit is history. We're on to number three. And we're on the floor. So I want you to rest yourself, but then grab weights for a chest press, please. Because we are um, chest pressing. We are skull crushing. Then we have a combo, skull crusher and fly. So maybe you need something lighter for that. Have that available to you. All right, how y'all feeling? We're going in 15. So you're on your back. Elbows are out on this first round. I want an alternating. Push your lower back into the floor. Here we go. Press up one at a time. Good work. Three, two, and one. All right. Grab your lighter weights for skull crusher and fly. So weights are here. Let's start here. Weights are above your shoulders. Give me a skull crusher. Let's bring them back together and then come out for a fly. We are going. Skull crusher, take it out. Elbows to the ceiling. Doing great. Under 10. Three, two, I want one more fly. You're with me, one more fly. Bam. All right, those weights are down. You now have a mountain climber with a squat thrust. So you're gonna give me two, one, two, and then stand up into a squat and go right back down. So you don't need to come all the way back up. Here we go, three, two, one. So two climbers, bam. Stand in that squat, go right back down. One, two. One, two. One, two. Almost there, last one, 30 seconds. One, two. Squat. You can stand up if you want. <laughs> We're going into the chest press. So for this next chest press, I'm gonna switch it up. A tad. We're gonna hold our arms up and drop an arm to the floor each time. So you're gonna hold it up. One arm is always going to be up on this one. Here we go, three, two, one. So we're holding one arm up. Always isolating one arm, a little different <laughs> from just pushing them up while they rest. Both arms are always working. And if you have heavier weights, this will feel challenging. But guess what, you got under 10 seconds. Get those reps in. One, two, we're done. <laughs> that was quick. 
All right. Our skull crush crusher and fly is gonna stay the same. Skull crusher position is right here. Three, two, and one. Take it back, bring it out. Almost there. In three, two, last fly. Right there, bam. Weights are down. We're back to our mountain climber squat thruster. That's what I'm calling. I'm not gonna say half burpee. Oh, I did, I just said half burpee. <laughs> I just did. But here we go, hands are underneath those shoulders, y'all. Three, two, one. Give me two, one, two. Now, take it up by jumping your feet in. Or you can stay here and just step each foot in. But I want a good squat. Give me a good squat. One, two. One, two. Final 10. Round two, finished. We're almost to the end. You sure are. Grab a little water. And get ready for round three. So on our chest press on round three, both arms, hips up. We go in 10, guys. So this time, let's work those glutes and hamstrings too. Here we go, hips up and press. Both arms, breathe out. Good work. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, those weights are down. Skull crusher and fly coming up. We stay the same here. Weights are up. Here we go. Elbows to the ceiling. Don't half step on that skull crusher. Keep those arms close to your head. Elbows up, extend, full extension. One, two, hop it in. Don't go all the way up, come back down. Take it easy on yourself and step in. I'm gonna take that. 
Guess what? I want to push up on your next uh, mountain climber here. Bam, bring it in. One, two, push up, bring it in. All right, you can go back, go back to the other one. <laughs> I was just trying to push you a little bit. I hope I did it. Here we go. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. You are done. Good work, good work, y'all. I'm proud of you already for what you accomplished today. We are cooling it down. So do not be still, walk around. Let's get that heart rate down. It's happening here. Ooh. All right, let's start with a shoulder roll. Nice and easy. And that heart rate is back down. You're feeling good. You can stop the tap. You can stop that when you're ready. Roll the shoulders. Good work. Let's bring those arms behind us. We work that chest quite a bit with those push-ups. Chest presses, I stretch it out. Keep those knees soft. Let's take the arms up, clasp the hands together, push those palms toward the ceiling. Good, we're gonna do a quad stretch. If you've got the balance for it, grab onto one foot and hold. Keep the legs together. Hold on to something if you need to. It's all good. good. Let's switch legs. Awesome this. All right, let's take one leg back. Onto a hip flexor, lunge here, one leg forward, push the hips forward. Stretching out that groin muscle on that back leg. Go ahead and lift it up. Open it up here. Awesome this, let's switch legs, take the other one back. Knee down, push the hips forward without leaning, just push the hips forward. You should feel the stretch here. Good, let's come on down. Lift that back leg if you can and open up on the opposite side. Four, three, and two, and one. Put both hands and both knees on the floor. Push the hips back, stretch out through those shoulders. Good, and bring those hips forward. Open it up, lift up the chest. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Curl your toes up. We're gonna push our hips up from here into downward facing dog. Drive those knees in for me. Drive, 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 and drive. Good, walk your hands in. Roll yourself up. I'm gonna be adding to our warm up videos and cool down videos, adding in foam roller stretching. So 
dust off your foam rollers now. Roll those uh, shoulders back one more time. Those feet are shoulder width apart. You've done great. You did the work, so I'm gonna let you go. Bring your arms up, hold on to those elbows. Let's stretch out those triceps a little bit. Three, two, and one. Let's bring them down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. A few more squats, right? <laughs> Exhale. Last one. But I'm strong. I could do it. Exhale. This time, hands are together over your heart. You did it. You did your push workout. Congratulations. Thank you much, so much for joining me. I'm Coach Stacey J. I will see you guys in our next class. Until then, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.